right. So let's take a look at water from this well that uh, Cabot and the state of Pennsylvania have determined is not suitable for is now suitable for ingestion. Prior to gas drilling activity, Scott's groundwater was clear and portable. This is it here now in this one gallon jug. If I tell you only some of what is in it, consider whether you would like yourself and your family to drink and bathe in it. This sample, this water sample was found to have lead and manganese at 5.8 and 10 times the state MCL limit levels. And arsenic at 15 times the state MCL limit. Data received within the last few hours revealed an aluminum concentration of 28 parts per million, some 140 times the state's MCL limit. This is cause for great concern. Aluminum is uh, linked to Alzheimer's-like uh, health symptoms. And autism. Similarly, uh, in Scott's well here, this, this sample, this very sample water here, iron was detected at 34 parts per million, 113 times the state MCL standard. While all analyses have not been completed, preliminary findings also indicate the presence of low-level hexanes, octanes, and decanes in this water. However, as if this isn't bad enough, the high pH of this water indicates the presence of significant other frac-related chemicals that are both unknown and untested, chemical compounds that do not have maximum contaminant levels in the state of Pennsylvania, chemicals that potentially present long-term chronic exposure to toxins and carcinogens 